Spiders usually live as long as a year. There are some species that can live a couple of decades. But they're nowhere near the main record breaker. Who is it? How old spider remnants were found by scientists? And how long can different animals live? You'll learn this and more in this episode. Spiders appeared on our planet about 400 million years ago. And during this time, scientists found many remains and fossils of the arthropods of an amazing age. A few years ago, in one of the deserts, they found the remnants of a giant spider, which are supposedly several thousand years old. The giant resembles a fossil rather than remains. Scientists already wanted to declare that they'd found the oldest spider in the world, but their colleagues stumbled upon something more incredible. In Australia, they found fossils of a giant spider aged 16 million years, and they're preserved almost perfectly, very clearly visible contours and sizes. There's not even need to be an advanced scientist to recreate the size of the arthropod and its approximate shape. In fact, the researchers did just that. According to the drawn picture and fossils, they assumed that the spider belonged to the family under this name. Apparently, the reason for the extinction of this spider was the arid climate of Australia. The animal could not withstand the extreme temperatures. 16 million years for fossils is a serious age, but it's not the limit either. In the summer of 2023, scientists found spider fossils that are 310 million years old. At the moment, these are the oldest spider fossils that scientists have. And in this case, the fossils were preserved quite well. The new species of spider is called Ethrolocosa walterbeeki. Scientists have made a model and found out how it could look in life. The legs of the spider were large, but the body was much smaller, about 0.4 inches in length. All we can say about all of these spiders is that their remains were old. But what about exactly how long they lived? We don't know how long the individuals the researchers found lived. However, we do have accurate information about this spider. Still remember that I said at the beginning of the issue that the spider's lifespan is about a year? Well, if so, this spider is a super long liver. He survived until the age of 43 years. The record holder died in 2018 in Western Australia. As you can see, Australia is home to not only record venomous spiders, but also record age spiders. The record holder was a female of the Gaius velocis species. Scientists have been following the spider for many years. Thanks to the fact that she lived so long, they were able to learn a lot about the species, habits, diets, and more. According to researchers, such a long life of the female was due to the fact that she lived on land covered with shrubs, always had access to food, had a slow metabolism, and also stayed in one place for a long time throughout her life. By the way, this is a trait of trapdoor spiders, to which the record breaker belonged. These creatures build hatches or dens and hide inside them. From them, they usually hunt. It happens that the trapdoor spider may never leave the burrow for a lifetime especially females. The males themselves come to them to mate. In the mink is a comfortable temperature. There are no predators, so it's logical that trapdoor spiders can live a very long time. And yet, 43 years is something incredible. That's a lot for a spider. Whereas it's infancy for some other animals, and literally. Watch on to see a shark that doesn't mature until it's 150 years old. The oldest animal on the planet right now animals that practically never age, and more. What animals can live a very long time? When asked this question, many people immediately think of turtles, and for good reason. These reptiles, especially if they're large, can easily live for 100 or even 150 years. But the current record holder is even older. His name is Jonathan, and he's already 191 years old. It wasn't easy to establish, but scientists believe that this male giant tortoise was born in 1832 or so. This is currently the oldest animal in the world when it comes to specific individuals. There are some who are even older, but more about them later. 
It's even kind of strange to look at black and white photos from the 19th century showing Jonathan and then look at fresh videos of him. A whole era has passed, several eras, and he's still alive and not going to die at all. Much of this is due to his care. Jonathan lives on St. Helena in the governor's official residence and is treated like royalty. The turtle is given the best conditions, washed, well-fed, and kept stress-free. All things being equal, he can break the record of Alagba. The turtle lived 344 years long. Incredibly, there was such a long liver, and she passed away not so long ago in 2019. But actually, it's not a fact that Jonathan is the oldest animal on the planet right now. Some Greenland polar shark may well be older than him, and by a lot. And if scientists capture such a fish, establish its age, and give it a nickname, the turtle could say goodbye to the record. Surprisingly, sharks of this species can live for half a thousand years. This has already been confirmed many times. In recent years, researchers have found several individuals with an age of about 500 years. One such specimen washed up on the coast of Great Britain in the spring of 2022. Researchers quickly determined that it was about 500 years old. Only think, this shark could have been swimming in the days when Christopher Columbus had just discovered America. That's how long ago that was. By the way, how did the scientists determine his age? It's clear with the turtle, it can be done on the basis of records, photographs, and so on. There was plenty of information, but that's not going to work here. That's right, and it's also simple. Greenland shark grows by an average of one centimeter every year. So by measuring the length, you can fairly accurately determine the age of the fish. Also, analyzing the lens nucleus of the eye helps determine the age of a creature. These sharks swim in northern waters and are not often encountered by scientists, but they know a thing or two about them. Researchers believe that cold water may somehow affect the longevity of these sharks. At the same time, the full secret of macrobiosis has not yet been revealed. For this, it's necessary to properly study the DNA of these sharks. These fish are very slow. They swim at a maximum speed of just about 2 miles per hour eat fish and sometimes even seals and just enjoy life. There's no hurry to get anywhere. They're not even in a hurry to grow up. Greenland sharks reach sexual maturity at about 150 years of age, which is another record. Just imagine how long it is to wait 150 years to grow up. It's strange for us humans to imagine because we grow up much faster, and many children literally dream of becoming adults as soon as possible. That same dreams of the next animal in the selection, a fish called turquoise killifish. It's a fish from Mozambique and Zimbabwe, and it's the exact opposite of the Greenland shark. It's an animal that matures and reaches puberty faster than any other in the world. After the embryo develops, it takes just 14 days for the fish to become sexually mature. Two weeks to go from a newborn to a creature capable of producing offspring. That sounds amazing to me. These fish mature and develop incredibly fast, as early as the third month of life. The fish show signs of aging, and after a few more months, they die. It's an unrealistic task for this fish to live at least more than a year. By the way, due to these unusual features, turquoise killifish is used by scientists as a model animal in experiments to study aging. But in general, I think it's no secret that small fish usually don't live very long. This is especially true for aquarium fish. Yes, they can live a few years long, but more often they die faster, usually not without the help of owners who tend to feed them or change the water in the aquarium. But there are aquarium fish that live as long as the Aldabra giant tortoises. These are brocaded carps. In general, it's not an aquarium fish, but rather a decorative one. They're more often seen in beautiful ornamental ponds, especially in Japan, where these fish come from and are considered very common. And no wonder, because they're very beautiful and colorful. Such creatures can become a decoration for any pond on a long-term basis. The average life expectancy of the brocaded carp outside Japan is 15 years. 
in Japan, they can live up to 40 to 70 years long. Anyway, this is on average. There are more than 80 varieties of the species, and some of them live for 100 to 150 years. And some individuals can live for 200 years or more. The main record was set by a carp named Hanako, who lived in the pond of Dr. Komai Koshihara. When the doctor met him, he was already an elderly fish. It died at the age of 226. So that you understand, when Hanako was young, samurai were still very popular in Japan. Some of us have been blessed with longevity, and some of us, on the contrary, deprived of it. I propose to take a short break from old creatures and look at the ones that have the shortest lifespan. These are mayflies. Adults of these insects, aka imago, live for a few hours to a couple of days. As a rule, their life is limited to a day, hence the name. Larvae are luckier. This phase in mayflies lasts two to three years. All this time, larvae develop in the water to then turn into adults and live the shortest life of an adult. There's a lot to do in one day, so mayflies don't even have time to eat, they don't feed, and their intestines are filled with air for easy flight. Mayflies need time to reproduce, and they do it near water. After mating, the male dies, and the females lay eggs in the water. However, not all of them survive because of fish preying on them. And although these insects live very little, they manage to give people problems. They can organize an infestation, and then thousands of insects will fill and cling to some space or building. For example, a house, a gas station, or a car. This is not a very pleasant picture, but there's nothing to be afraid of. Mayflies are not dangerous for us or anyone else in general. The same can be said for naked mole rats, although purely visually it's not believable. These rodents look strange and even scary. Bare skin, long tail, giant protruding teeth. Hardly anyone will be delighted if he sees such a creature near him. But don't be frightened. Naked mole rats are really harmless. It's also one of the most unusual and amazing creatures in the world. First of all, mole rats are practically invulnerable. I mean, they don't feel pain. They don't mind cuts or burns. They don't feel them. They don't even mind acidic environments. Secondly, mammals are cold-blooded, and it's the only mammal in the world with this feature. Thirdly, mammals don't even need air. They can survive without oxygen for about 20 minutes. For an animal of this size, this is a phenomenal result. Fourth, mole rats are almost completely invulnerable to cancer. And finally, their life expectancy is fantastic. These creatures can live for 30 or even 40 years. Against the background of other rodents, this is the limit. Moreover, these animals practically do not age. In the course of time, they do not have health problems, they do not become senile and retain productive function, they usually die of cardiac arrest with the heart exhausting its resources. It turns out that a young and an old rat can be indistinguishable from each other at all. They are almost immortal creatures. Researchers believe that the whole secret lies in the regeneration of cells and the removal of aging cells. In theory, they can study the mechanism to create a drug that will allow us to get around in old age without disease and decrepitude. As you can see, immortality is not something impossible, it's reality, at least in part. There are other creatures in the animal world that have practically lost the ability to age, and sponges are the best at it. Yes, in case you didn't know, sea sponges are not plants, they are animals. They can feed by filtering water and can even reproduce, both sexually and asexually. But their greatest strength is their longevity. These creatures can live for a thousand years, and that's just the beginning. They can live for 5, 10, 15, even 20,000 years. Glass sponges are particularly notable for this. In this class of invertebrates, you can find individual species that, as scientists say, can easily live up to 10,000 years. And among all sponges, of which there are several thousand species, there are some that can potentially live for several million or even hundreds of millions of years. But how is that even possible? There are several reasons. 
Firstly, sponges are highly regenerative, so they heal damage instantly. Secondly, many sponges have protective spicules that protect them from being eaten by echinoderms and other predators. By and large, sponges have no natural enemies, those who could significantly impact on longevity. Finally, sponges have an extremely slow metabolism, so slow that it's hard to even imagine. They consume oxygen and divide cells slowly. Because of this, fewer errors and mutations are accumulated, which has a positive effect on their lifespan. By the way, sponges are interesting in another way. They're some of the oldest organisms on the planet. The best preserved ancient fossils of sponges are about 540 million years old. But several recent findings by scientists suggest that sponges could be 600, 700, or even 890 million years old. So far, this has not been confirmed, but if it is, the sponge will officially become the oldest multicellular organism in the world. Well, for now, scientists tend to believe that the oldest multicellular creature on the planet, these are very beautiful translucent creatures that live in all parts of the world's oceans. They look like jellyfish, but they're not. And these luminous beauties are also much more important than you think. Scientists believe that comb jellies are the closest relatives of the very first animals on Earth, from which all other species, including humans, subsequently descended. It turns out there are forebears. In addition, the relationship between these jellies and other members of the animal kingdom is important for understanding the early evolution of animals and the emergence of multicellularity. <laughs> That's about it. Write in the comments how long would you like to live? Leave a like and subscribe to our channel.